in the sky today. What's up, guys? How's it going, Mark Freeman? Before we leave, we got Hill just chilling. Doesn't want to come out of his car. Anyways, I got good news. Picking up the snowmobile. Hill, you got in the sled. Today? Not today. No. Maybe tomorrow or next week. See okay. if we have time. Like a nice one? A race sled. It's like enough for trail sled? riding. Yeah. So not like the $200 one? It's a $300 one. Did you fix it yet? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, it was just a little roll pin fell out of the clutch. Really? <laughs> took three minutes. Uh, nice boots. Those boots made for walking? Yep. Hill stole my orange boots. That's why I don't wear them anymore. I'm just kidding. I have my own pair. But I have better ones. There they are. I have these ones. These are the Dunlop Vibram ones. So they're a lot more comfortable. Especially if you wear them all day. Anyways. Hill, let's try and make two videos today. Since it's so beautiful out. It's only like minus two and it's going down to minus 18 this weekend. Really? Yeah, it's gonna be freaking flopping freezing. Look at the freaking the variety of colors we got going here, eh? <laughs> White must have been on sale. Uh, anyways, where are you going? I need you. I need your arm. Green cars. Bright green, bright uh, it's been a good week. We've got a uh, we got things in motion. So. I'm ordering a battery for this thing. Turns out it's really hard to find the exact battery size. This is what I need because they have a custom battery box for it right down there and only that one fits. So uh, I got a trickle charger for it so it'll stay charged. We got this thing back. I just have to fix the steering. Apparently it's just this rod. It came a little loose. It steers right good, just not left. I'll show you in a minute. Princess Auto has sent us more stuff again because they are the best sent us a stool some booster cables these are the heavy duty ones that we need i have one pair already but we need a second pair because we're gonna get that detroit diesel going you went to tim Hortons and didn't get anything yep <laughs> i drove by one too um what else was there oh yeah this little pump yo i'm supposed to be doing this oh there you go hey oh, watch figure. Um, Carhartt sent the package too. I got excited and already opened it. So they have redesigned all their winter gear, um, their Arctic gear. So I'm super excited for it. They have sent a nice parka. As you can see, there's some very interesting coats. That's a normal coat. Kind of looks like the bomber jacket. This one, it's got the fur on the outside. That's how you know it's good. It's all about the style, huh? Style. So, and then uh, I'm getting some Carhartt 408 sweaters done. If you're lucky, hell, I might give you one. I'm never lucky. <laughs> you're probably wearing a 408 shirt right now. So yeah, they sent all these sweaters over and got the 408 embroidered right there. Once this whole lockdown is done and the embroidered place is open again. What else do they send? Oh yeah, a nice vest. Also for... Maybe I'll rock this tail. It's kind of cold, it. Jesus. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, Carhartt always goes over and above for us. Keeps us warm. And that's what I'm actually wearing right now. My Carhartt pants with my built-in knee pads. Where are they? Oh, they're upside down. There they are. Oh yeah. Anyways, the shredder. What should we do today, Hill? I think we should take the shredder. I gotta get you back on it because I know it's been about a year since you've been on it. We'll show everyone that it runs again. It's great. And we're gonna take the Maverick to the river and drive on the ice. What are your thoughts on that? I don't think it's the ice. Oh. Fair enough. Let's go. I'm up, bro. <laughs> All right. Let's get this thing out. These things need reverse. Maybe, maybe when they come out with the electric one this year, she'll have reverse. Run that thing. <laughs> Show us 
how it's done. By the way, it doesn't it doesn't turn left, so yeah, you gotta drag your foot or you know lean or I don't know, do something with those dead laps. All right, Speed Demon, show us what you got. Just don't hit the uh, the cars. I told him it didn't turn left. A lot of people ask about these things. They are fun. They are very random. A lot of people use them as pit vehicles, actually. So Aaron's like, "What are you using for?" It's like anything. And they're around six grand Canadian, so like four American, thirty-five American. So we've had a ton of fun with them, as you can see. They are currently in China developing an electric one right now. If you guys haven't noticed, she's a lot quieter than last time. Apparently the pipe fell off the front. Did not notice. I don't know how it didn't light on fire. There he comes. He's trying to turn with the brake. Brake and gas don't always work at the same time. He's going to have no left brakes left. Hold on to her. That's it's, a, it's a little weird that it doesn't turn left, eh? Barely even goes straight. It always just wants to go right. It's because you got a big right foot. <laughs> we'll get her fixed up for next time, don't you worry. You can kind of turn it like that, but then it just slams on forward. Yeah, I feel like we're going to wear out the brakes real fast, too. Yeah. Alright, let me take her for a whirl. Go get the Maverick and then pull it <laughs> the 20 feet. <laughs> I'll just push it. No, this is funnier. Oh my god, hell. <laughs> you know what? I just got gas. I'll just fill it up. Are you done filming me yet? Nope. Okay.
Go get your truck and pull it. <laughs> Shut your mouth when you're talking to me. Huh. That's a good movie. That was a big workout. Same. <laughs> a lot of work. Let's rip the nuts right off this thing. Ding! We built this city. Figure it out, see how deep it is. See how thick it is. Then ice. I think this thing can go on it. We'll just go on it by the tree in case we do fall in. Yeah, that's a good sign. <laughs> it's, it's thickest out in the middle, don't worry about this. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Probably threw some studs in the tires. You're about 1,500 pounds, right? Same as the Maverick. Only on my good days. <laughs> on your good days. Well, I know. Don't go over there. That looks thin. <laughs> it doesn't look thin. There is no ice there. No, oh, there's a there's a hill carometer. You want to go ice fishing? I don't know. It's cracking beneath us. Man, Brady caught a 32 inch pike the other day. Yeah, he came with us yesterday. This time, did he? We took down a thousand foot fence. It's a good time. I probably should have worn a coat. I mean, this vest is nice, but it's definitely coat weather. As you You're can see. You're a vest see. guy, though. I know. <laughs> All right, well. You can't complain about cold wearing a vest. That's just not the Yellowstone way. I know. I'm not cold. It's my fingers are cold. Well, you so if I had a coat on, my fingers wouldn't be cold. Wait, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Gloves are for fingers. Uh, Alright, um, there's Pip, those are mine. <laughs> Alright, I'll give you the camera and I'll try and sink the Maverick. Here, take this. <laughs> As you disappear under the ice. <laughs> that was the last time we saw hell. Well, I'm not worried about At least you could be on your own. Like a foot deep. At least you could be on your own rescue mission. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll call the Hercules. They'll uh, they'll be here in about two hours, <laughs> just in time to save me from drowning. Okay, here we go. It's okay. I got a new axle.
you're barely, you're barely five feet out there. I don't want to go any further. It gets, it's a straight drop off. I don't feel like losing the Maverick today. <laughs> it always looks like your fingers in front of the lens. <laughs> nope. All right, I'll do it one more time. You gotta do it one more time.
very deep right now and with the current you get washed under the ice no fuego so we're gonna go fire up some cars a little uh, blazer versus gmc sierra and i'm gonna jump the sierra over those little jumps so thank you guys for watching have a fantastic day we'll see you later